One of the things you focused on, and, and this is really, really alarming, is the shortage of oxygen. Is this a supplier problem or is this a planning problem? In other words, are the factories unable to keep up or have the hospitals not laid in the supplies that may in fact be available? John, good afternoon. They've got a bit of a mistake there. It's not a sh- shortage of oxygen. Okay. It can be a challenge. It's, it's, it's oxygen concentrators are required. Okay. But in essence, it comes to the same thing. We look in, in the first wave and in the second wave and now in the third wave, we were getting calls all the time in all, all the waves. People asking for oxygen concentrators, asking for oxygen cylinders, and even asking for oxygen. In the second wave especially, we were getting calls from several hospitals throughout the country to say the oxygen supply is inadequate, they run out of supplies, it doesn't come on time, you know, they, they can't manage, they can't cope. That was the call in the second wave. In the third wave, we haven't got those calls yet, but there may be a reason for that. We've been getting calls from, which, which never happened in the first and second wave, we're getting, getting calls from general practitioners and physicians saying they want oxygen concentrators. Now, the moment you use oxygen concentrators, it obviates the need for oxygen. Right. But it's only a temporary, it's a band-aid. It's not a full solution. And we asked them, why are you asking for so many oxygen concentrators? There were plenty in the first and the second wave that was used by groups and communities, right. lending it out on loan. And they said, look, the problem is there's no bed in hospital. So to give the patient a chance, we have to put the patients on oxygen concentrators. It's not the best option, but it's the only option right now. Patients are anxious. They go from hospital to hospital. They go from casualty to casualty. There's no space. It's a long wait. They wait several hours. Nobody can see them. They get into casualty. There's no guarantee they will get a bed in that hospital, whichever hospital they go to. And in most cases, they're sent home. So indirectly, the individual sort of it's a tacit approval between general practitioners and physicians. They're not going to subject the patients to that. And also when you speak to them, they say they're tired of phoning the hospitals and everything yes. waiting for hours to get a bed. So rather put them on oxygen concentrators, like one of the doctors I spoke to, he said they've loaned out 140 oxygen concentrators and even if they get another 500, it won't be enough. Yeah. So wow. basically the oxygen burden is taken off the hospital, it's been taken at home. And the reason for that is we're loading three to 400 bed spaces in Charles McKeke. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.